Hi everyone, welcome to my another challenge. Today is the day three, and today we'll be solving SQL question asked in Amazon Data Analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says, given table student details, write a query to display names alternately by gender and sort by ascending order of column ID. So basically, we have table. This is the table you can see. We do have ID, we do have name, and we do have gender. So first thing, we need to order the data by this ID column. Then what we need is basically this student name alternately based on this gender so basically first student we can get this male and then the second student would be basically this one which is uh, Neha and then the third student is going to be again this one and the fourth student is going to be this one so we need to order the data like in this orders so let's see how we can solve this question I have already created the table to solve this one so let's go to pgadmin4 so we have the data here we have id name and genders so first we need to order the data by this column which is by id and then basically we need to get the data by basically name alternately based on this gender column okay so to solve this question we can use window functions called row number to basically assign some ranking based on basically this data so if you do not know window functions then this video is for you you will see how we can use the window functions called row number so first let's select everything from this table so i will be using same query and uh, i can give a comma so basically what window function does is basically window function create a new window and basically it assigns some a ranking and the good thing about window function is that you can basically also do some something called partition by so basically in each partitions you can basically assign new ranking okay syntax is very simple you can say basically row number and uh, then you can basically say over now inside the over you can basically say partition partition by this uh, we want to partition by this gender okay before doing the partitions i can basically show you how it's going to be so i can simply say order by because i want to do order by by this id column okay so order by id and uh, as ranks okay now if i just run this query it's going to basically assign a basically new ranking now this is a row number window functions so i can basically change it to basically row number okay or I can basically give a short name called RM. Now let's run it again, and it's going to basically give some ranking starting from one, two, three, four. Okay, first it has assigned the data by ID, so it's same as like indexing you can see, right? So this is the first row, second row. So all the rows are basically getting their basically respective index number. Okay? So good thing what we can do is basically we can partition this data based on this gender. So basically all the male gender will get a new ranking like starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly our second partition is going to be female and they would be getting basically new ranking. Okay. So first that is what we will do. So I will say partition partition by basically this column which is called gender. So I will say partition by gender. So now let's run this query. Okay. Now you can see we are getting new ranking. So this is our first partition which is basically the female and they are getting new ranking from 1, 2, 3 which is a new row number. And similarly, second partition is getting basically the new again a row number which is starting from one. So if in case we have multiple partitions, each partition will basically have a new row number starting with basically number one. Okay. Now what we can do is basically we can save this data in a CTE. So what we need to do is basically first we need to order the data by this column, and then we can order the data by this column using some basically logic. Okay. So what we need is now you can see we need first basically. Uh, let's say we need uh, first this one which is first uh, female or maybe first need because see now the data is already assigned so first we need maybe like the male data which is this one gopal okay then we need basically one data from the female and then we need basically second male data which is going to be rohit and then we need basically isha which is basically our second female member okay so same way we need the answer okay so what we can do is basically if we order the data by this column so all the smallest number will come first right if i do an order by in ascending you can see this one this employee has ranking one it will come here similarly the second smallest number is going to be this one right so this will come here automatically so first step is done then we just need to do one more ordering by this column okay now this is a basically you can say this column is basically characters so we can convert this column into numbers and then we can do a ordering so let me show you what i'm trying to say so first i will be saving this data in a cte so i can call it basically with and student okay we can just say it up with rank table you can give any name okay now the syntax is very simple for cte 
which I have also covered in yesterday's series. So, so you just need to simply say with which is the clause and you basically give your city name here. You can give any name. So city full form is common table expression which create a basically temporary table inside your query. Okay, Then you just need to give S and inside this parenthesis you just need to put your query. Okay, So this is done. Let me just move it one column to the right. Okay, Now what I need is basically I need a from this table which is this rank table. So what is going to happen as soon as I execute this query, this query is going to run and this query, this query is going to create a table like this table. This table is going to store in this basically name which is called a rank table. Okay. Now from this rank table, I can use a select statement to basically select some data. So what I need is basically this ID, then I need name, okay. I need basically gender as well. And uh, I also need this RN, okay, which we have created earlier. So this column we need. Okay? Now from where we are getting all this data, so we are getting from this table which is called RN. So I can simply write from RN. So usually we do not have this table right in the database. But this table will be created by this query and uh, then this uh, table is going to store in this name. That is how basically we are getting this table name here. Okay. So let's see. Now if I just run this query, let's see what happens. Okay. I just have to kind of uh, remove this, uh, this one okay, because I'm only creating one city at the moment. Okay, so I don't need any other comma. Okay. So let's run it again and let's see the answer. Now I can see we already have the answer. Okay, so we have basically ID, name, gender, and basically R and which is rank. Okay, now this data is not ordered yet. Okay, so what I mean to say is basically I can order the data by this column in ascending orders, and then I can basically order the data by this column. So I can use some logic here. I can say basically maybe male or female equals one. So I can say maybe male equals one, and then female equals two. Then the male will come first, then the female will come. Okay. So first ordering I will do by this column and then I will do a ordering by this column. So let me show you. So I can go ahead and say order by. So order by this column, which is called Rn. Okay, so by default it's going to be ascending orders. So now let's see if I just run it, our problem is almost solved. Okay. I can run this query. So now you can see we have basically the data. Now it is already basically ordered. So you can see we we are having the first employee which is female so female is basically number one employee and then we have basically male employee and then we have basically again male employee then female then female okay so now one order is done you see small ranking are coming here then basically we have two then we have three right because that's how the or because i have done ordering by this column okay so what we need is basically alternately based on this gender okay we don't need like uh, you know uh, two male together so we need female then male then female then male so what I can do is basically I can do one more ordering by this column which is called gender okay so now this column this is not a kind of numeric column so I can convert this column using case statement and then I can do a ordering so what I can say is basically here using a case now I can say that I want to basically say when gender equals okay m then one so first i want to see the male first then female then male okay then then one else two okay so let me just move this two line to the right and i just need to close this case using n okay now first ordering i'm doing by this column which is called the row number and then second ordering i'm doing by this column now here I'm basically calling this male as one and then female as two so every m will get basically one so if i do a ordering by this column so so if i do a ordering by this column so i will have basically the male first then the female similarly then again male then female okay so let me show you how it is working okay now if in case you want to see this result i can basically print it here okay to show you how it is working now let's just go ahead and run this query see how it's working so I'll be printing this uh, in gender conversion as well to just show you how this ordering is going to basically solve our problem okay. so now you can see here so first I'm doing ordering by this column which is uh, row number which we have already done earlier okay 
Now, first ordering by this column, and second, I'm doing ordering by this column. So, this column I'm creating based on this gender. So, I'm calling this m equals 1 and then female equals 2. So, earlier I had 2, 1, 1. So, 1, 1 belongs to basically male, another 1 belongs to female. Now, I'm basically calling this m as uh, 1, then f as 2. So, obviously, that m will basically, if I do ordering by this column, which is 1 and 2, so 1 will come first, right? So, here basically, you can see 1, 2. So, first ordering by this, so 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, okay. Then I'm doing an ordering by this column, which is basically smallest number would come first. So one, then two. So one means what? Male. Then two means what? Female. Similarly, one. One means male. Two means female. So this is how we are getting the data. Now we are basically having the employee ID. You can see one employee ID one. Then we have Gopal. So Gopal gender is male. Then we have the employee ID which is uh, six. That's Neha. So Neha gender is female. Okay, which is F. Now we're getting second ID is basically name, which is uh, basically M. Uh, that's Rohit and uh, then we are getting Isha. So this is how you can see we are ordering the data alternately by this column which is called gender. Okay. So now I can use one more CT to save this uh, query. So for example, I don't want to save this one now. I can just comment it out. Okay. And uh, I can save this one in another query. Basically another CT. So I can call it basically this one ranked table 2. Okay. Now I will just simply say S. And I am going to save this basically data in the city. Okay. So I have first created one city where I have basically used simple row number functions and I have saved the data by this name called rank table. And then I am creating basically second city where I am getting the data from first city. Okay. Now what will happen? So after this city ends here, right? So all this problem is done. So what I now only need is basically ID, name, and gender, right? Because we don't want to show this row number and this uh, case, right? In the result. So I can simply write a kind of a simple select statement. I can say select and what I need is basically ID and what I need is basically name. Okay, then I need gender. Okay, from where it's coming. So it's coming from the second city, which is rank table two, I think, which is here, right? Rank table two. So now in this table data is already ordered by basically gender alternately. So I don't have to do anything else. So let's just run this query now. Okay. So now you can see I'm getting the ID, name and gender. So now this data is basically ordered alternately by this column which is called gender. So first I'm getting male, then I'm getting female, then male, female, male, female. Okay. So this is how we have solved this today question. Now, in case you want to solve the same question, I'm going to upload this data set in my GitHub repository. So you will find the link in the video descriptions. So you can click the link, go to my GitHub and you can download this data and create the table and solve this question. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Have a good day.